game winning hit yesterday. Well, Garcia hits a high fly ball to right field, and this one is gone. Adolis Garcia on the first pitch that he sees from James Caprillion hits his 22nd home run of the season and picks up his 62nd RBI. Rangers lead it 1-0 with Joey Gallo now stepping in, and he swings and hits a high fly ball to deep right field, and that is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs for Adolis Garcia and Joey Gallo, both Rangers All-Stars getting it done in a big way here in the first inning. Grounded to the backhand by Elvis Sanders. He gets up and throws out Jonah Heim. Elvis Sanders, tough play, knocked it down, then had to find it and make a good throw, and he did. To Murphy with a shot to left field, and that baby's gone. Second deck. I think you said it best last night. It seems like every time Murph goes to the plate, he's angry. And he might be real angry because he was behind the plate when those two home runs were hit. This was a no doubter. Brown, a left handed batter, hitting 183, but with nine home runs and 27 runs batted in. Brown smokes one. Right center. That's deep, and that baby's gone. I thought home run derby was Monday night in Colorado. Wow. So Murphy and Brown go back to back. Home run number 10. Infielders on the right side against Lowry. Here's the 2 1. Deep to right field. Dahl is back at the wall, and it is gone. Jed Lowry, a high towering drive, reaches the seats to give the A's against Jake Deep Deepman. And for the first time in this game, will get an opportunity to bat right handed. And here is that one two pitch and a fastball hit to the right side. That's going to be a base hit. Right around third. He's going to come home. He will score. And the Rangers have tied this game up three to three. Jonah with the opposite field base hit. Joey Gallo goes first to third. And Three and a ground ball left side. Connor Falefa backhanded snag, but he has no play. As he got to his feet, he slipped just enough to prevent him from even issuing a throw to first. I don't know that he gets Loriano even if he gets up cleanly. And it's an infield RBI single for Ramon Loriano and the A's take a 4-3 lead here in the top. To get over their head, Joey Gallo can run. Anything that gets past an outfielder, this game could be over. And so they are playing a little bit deeper to try to prevent that. Here's the 3-0, and Heim swings and hits a hard shot to the right side. Off the glove of Wilson, he flips to Andrews. And Joey Gallo is ruled out. I don't know if that is going to hold. We'll see if the Rangers want to take a look at it. But more importantly, Eli White scores, and this game is tied. And Joe West says he's safe. How about it? So it'll be a fielder's choice, but more importantly, first and second with one out. Here's the bond is. Bond is hits it hard. Out at second. And that's a double play. So we roll on. Now pitch, here it is. It's grounded into right field, a base hit. Here comes Elvis Andrus. Eli White's throw is late. It's an RBI single for Jed Lowry, and the A's recapture the lead. It's 5-4. Matt Olson able to go to third. That's huge. Oh, wow. To the backstop and trying to score as Olson, and he will score. And on a Spencer Patton wild pitch, the A's get an insurance run here and now lead 6-4. And that brings up Stephen Piscotti. Piscotti, who reached on a Nick Solank error, his only at bat in the 10th inning. That one is hit deep to left field. Martin back, and that baby's gone. Well, what a great sound off the bat of Stephen Piscotti. He knew it for Seymour right down the middle. At that point, Stephen said, Bunch of runners left on base. And he lines one into the glove of Chapman, and that's the ball game. So the marathon comes to an end. The A's.